In tonight's featured call for action, a single mother who's struggling to pay the bills is reaching out for help after her father passed away. Yeah, Rolando Gutierrez died on Sunday upstate at a specialized nursing home. His daughter can't afford to have the body sent back to the valley where she says he could be honored in the special way that he deserves. Like most daughters, Virginia Gutierrez is particularly proud of her father. My dad was my world. He, was, he meant so much to me. Rolando Gutierrez served in the Vietnam War with the Navy. He loved serving his country. He served his country with all his heart. He fought for his country. The Purple Heart recipient continued his military career with the National Guard for two decades. Virginia says her father, a Mission High graduate, dedicated his life to this country. But it's his role as grandfather to Christopher, Virginia's son, which stands out the most to her. It was very hard for me and my son. That's because Rolando had to leave their Harlingen home in 2009 due to dementia. The debilitating disease took over his mind and forced him to seek help upstate at a specialized nursing home. Virginia remembers what she missed the most. Not spending the holidays with him anymore. The first Thanksgiving, it was difficult because he was the one that would clean out the turkey for me. This past weekend, Virginia received a call that her dad had passed away in Knox City due to complications from dementia. He was 65 years old. I feel empty. I feel alone. And she feels helpless because Virginia admits she doesn't have the money to bring her father's body to the Rio Grande Valley for a proper military funeral. I live on a tight budget. <laughs> I just want to have the proper funeral for my dad, the proper goodbyes. The good times are now overshadowed by financial stress. Virginia can't control her tears for a father who she says deserves honored eternal rest. Now, I'm thrilled to report tonight that after multiple calls today, I was able to help Virginia with her call for action. America's Last Patrol has graciously offered to transport the body to the valley, and Heavenly Grace Funeral Home in Laferia stepped up in a big way to cover the cost for a funeral and even offered to make arrangements for a military burial at the Rio Grande Valley State Veterans Cemetery in Mission. I'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, tonight, lots of people singing the praises of those who stepped forward to help on my Facebook page, where I first posted a preview of my story tonight. Ruben Cantu says, good for her and her father who served this great country that we all love. May he rest in peace. Where there's a will, there's a way. Crystal Benavides says to all those men and women who serve our country proudly should be given a final proper military farewell. My prayers go out to the family. Glad to see he got what he deserved. For exclusive details and behind the scenes photos from my stories and to reach me with story tips, just search Ryan Wolf on Facebook and Twitter. I'm online chatting with viewers right now.